Hello, Beefy Tex here. I'm um, giving you another review slash how to today on one of these apps that I like. Um, here today we got Mac OS AX. I think is how you pronounce it. I have no idea. Um, it's a neat little app and lets you make make uh, mosaics on your Mac. It's really neat. So uh, let's get started here. Um, first, open the app and it has you select a photo. And I got this cute little picture of a puppy off the internet that we will be turning into a mosaic out of their many little pictures. So here we click it to open it. Um, and there it is, you can see it in the little window. Look at how cute he is all. Um, so you can go over here and you, you can uh, pick your sources that the, the smaller pictures come from. So I'm gonna pick one from Google Images. And then you type in your keywords. And then I'm going to add one here from uh, Flickr. And same basic thing, you type in keywords that you want it to search for. And I'm going to use cats just to be kind of cute and weird like that. Um, and it starts searching. And it just searches the web and finds pictures that fit on your bigger picture here. Um, well, I'm going to let this run a little bit, and we'll see what we come up with. All right, I'll let this sit for a few minutes here, and um, the results are pretty good so far. We have a nice little outline of the puppy, kind of, and the background's looking good. Um, you can adjust this fader up top here, and it um, fades in and out the uh, opacity of the um, main background image. And here, I had it turned all the way down, and you can kind of see the puppy, and then... Um, turn it back up and you can see the puppy more a little bit there. Alright, it's pretty much done here. Um, I'll let it sit for a while and uh, here you can kind of see like the starting image and then the after here it'll fade into. You can really see the after does a good job in finding the right pictures in the right spots. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it now um, and use this as my final picture here. Um, you could probably let it sit a little longer and it'll keep searching and finding better pictures, but I think this is good enough for my demo. You go ahead and just click Save As. There's a few options here. You can pick the uh, resolution and um, other options and the type of um, file that you want. I'm just going to go with JPEG, whatever. Um, and save and it may take a little while depending on your file size here and this might take a little while so we'll let that go all right it's almost done here and it's opening up in preview here and there's your final product right there um, looks pretty good I'm gonna zoom in here and you can see the individual pictures pretty well um, all those different cats I don't know there's a girl and a girl there that's kinda weird but um, Lots of cats pictures and it fits pretty well under the main scheme. I'll zoom back out. Overall the app does a good job. Um, I've used this on a couple different occasions and um, showed my friends and they all think it's really cool how you can do that. Um, great way to make a cool little thing for Valentine's Day or birthday card or anything. Um, you can see there's lots of different options you can choose from. You can use your own pictures on your computer. You can use iTunes, cover art, lots of different options. Great app. Recommend it. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, like me, subscribe me, whatever. Follow me on Twitter. Um, that's it, guys. See ya.